Hi, my name is Alex Curlich with GustinCho.com. So, if you have a car loan and you think you have three months left on the car payment, we could probably get around that. But if the rule is, if it's less than ten months, and that car payment is a certain percentage of your income, then we don't have to hit you for it. So, if you have like eight hundred dollar car payment, and you make thirty thousand dollars a year. You're gonna we're gonna have to count that payment against you because it's such a large percentage of your income. But if you have a two hundred dollar car payment, and you make three hundred thousand dollars a year and you got nine months left on it, we're not going to hit you for that payment because it's less than 10 and it's below the percentage they're going to hit you for. Now when it comes to leases, and you're like, oh my lease is going to expire in, in next month and don't, don't have to count it against me. Leases are a different animal because the underwriter is going to assume that you're going to go buy another car so they're going to hit you for that lease payment. Now, if you can prove that you've titled on another car in your name to replace that lease, you buy a used car for $1,000, we can get around that and that's your car and they won't hit you for the car payment. So. You know, but you can't be buying a thousand dollar car. But if, I'm, I'm just saying, but you, the, the underwriter is going to assume you have another car payment. If you can replace that car payment with a new car payment, we can use that new car payment. But underwriters do not let lease expires and, and let you not have a car payment unless you are titled on another car. So keep that in mind. That's how car payments can affect your DTI. Give me a call at 630 915 7550.